Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going ahead and doing a set of Valentine's nails. I've got my tips and my base already applied. So we're gonna go ahead and get these cut down to length and get straight into our design. I'm excited, I'm so excited for you guys to see this. I know you've not seen it yet, but I'm speaking to you as if you have, but yeah, I'm just really, really excited for you guys to see these nails. So I'm just going to be using the Tool Envy tip cutters and I'm going to snip away. So I'm going to trim these down about halfway. Checking the sizes, it just needs to do a little bit more. And there we have it, that's the length that I'm going to be working with for today's design. So that is super fun. And in today's video, I have actually got a new powder. Um, so this is called Goddess and it's a gorgeous shimmery kind of cover powder. I absolutely love it. A couple of beads so you guys can see how it looks. Hopefully you can see that and it picks up nicely on camera. Yeah, it's really, really, really beautiful. It's filled with golden shimmers. Okay, so I've got a nice pink glittery kind of Valentine's Day girly set going on today and I'm excited. So let's get into the video. So the glitter that I'm gonna be using in today's set is called Donut Glaze and it's this gorgeous pink kind of iridescent, look how pretty she is. And yeah, we're gonna use that and I'm just excited because I love anything pink and glitzy. So I'm gonna come in with crystal clear acrylic, tell a lie. I'm gonna come in with our goddess cover powder to start with. It's getting kind of a small bead. I'm going to place it in the centre of the nail I'm going to pat that product from side to side and then I'm just going to stroke it down it's absolutely stunning guys it's absolutely stunning look how gorgeous the shimmers are in that cover powder so I'm just going to apply another bead of it but this time going closer to that cuticle I'm just applying it before the cuticle, wiping off my brush and then I'm going to push that product up and then make it flush around the cuticle area and then we're going to pull it down to blend it in and it's absolutely gorgeous I'm really excited for this to launch Oh my gosh, so pretty. So I've just picked up some of the donut glaze glitter on my brush with the clear acrylic and I'm gonna place it on the nail and then I'm gonna pat that down and get it laying nice and flat and spread it out. 
I am going to bring it back up the nail as well ever so slightly that looks so gorgeous so there we have that nail this nail isn't finished at the minute I have got some more Kind of things to add to it in a little while but that will be afterwards once we've finished encapsulating and everything so i'm just going to go ahead and do a complete nail of goddess going to come in with that cuticle bead push it in at the sides I'm going to push that up and blend it down So I'm going to jump to the pinky and we're going to do kind of a glitter fade from the cuticle. So I've just applied some clear acrylic and then I'm coming in with my glitter. Making sure to get it laying flat. And then I'm going to come in with Goddess at the end. I'm going to blend it up and slightly over the glitter. So we're basically kind of doing the opposite. <clears throat> Excuse me. The opposite to the pointer finger. taking a really small bead of goddess I'm just working in like smaller layers as I get closer so I can control that product more and get it exactly how I like I'm just gonna pull that product back up the nail and I'm just gonna do that one more time so we can get it really kind of you know faded in there how gorgeous is Goddess? It's absolutely stunning. So excited for you guys to get your hands on it. Honestly, just in love. So I've just applied another small bead and then I'm gonna blend it back down. Turn my brush and then we're gonna feather it back up and slightly over that glitter. I think that'll do it for me. It looks super cute. Super cute. Oh, look at that. Like, look at that. How bloody 
gorgeous is that? Sorry, I'm just looking in the viewfinder and admiring how stunning it is. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so moving on to the ring finger, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quilted nail. I've been wanting to do this for months and I had it on my list of kind of nails to create and I was like, I'm gonna do it, let's get to it. And I just haven't had the time or I've just felt like sick. You guys know the score with that. Um, so now is the time and we are gonna bring it. What I'm gonna do first, because the quilted nail is kind of, you can do it with gel, you can do it with acrylic, you can do it with whatever you want. I'm gonna do it with acrylic in this case, so I do need to build up the thickness on the nail first. So I'm gonna come in with my crystal clear and we're gonna first off build the nail structure. Just blending the clear acrylic down the nail. And then I'm just gonna apply a cuticle bead. Also going to come in with candy pink. I wasn't going to add any coloured acrylic into this set, but I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to add some. So this is candy pink. It's a duo marble powder, so it's kind of you can have it as a solid colour, or you can have it as a marble powder where you, you'll get two tones. So you'll get pink and white with one bead, and then you'll just swirl it. If you want a solid colour, you're just going to kind of swipe down the nail, and it's going to blend it in, and it will just be a pink, and it's gorgeous. It's one of my favourites. You guys know I use it all the time. All the freaking time. So I'm going to come on to the thumb, and we're going to do candy pink. I'm just picking up a nice large bead and let me show you what I mean about the duo marble when I pop that down. Can you see how you've got two tones? You can swirl it if you applied that wetter and swirled it, it would be a marble. But I'm going to apply it as a solid colour so once I start dragging that product down the nail, you can see that it's kind of blending in together. We're not applying any thickness with this, we just want it there for design purposes. I'm just using my brush to kind of feather where the colour ends because I don't like to have a harsh line. I'm going to be pulling down my goddess acrylic and sometimes if you leave a harsh line there it's going to kind of possibly cause some issues. So I'm coming in with a bead of goddess, applying it just above the colour. Just going to push that product from side to the other side. Once I'm happy with that, I'm trying to keep it on camera. Once I'm happy with that, I can then pull that down the nail. did do that a little bit too dry, the bead. Can you see how I'm having to work a little bit extra to pull it down the nail? Not a problem. We can come in with another bead in just a sec. Keep looking like you. 
and I'm just going to build up some more where you can see the line and just diffuse it a little bit more So freaking pretty, oh, so pretty. Looks gorgeous. I'm just going to apply my cuticle bead now. So we're applying it just before that cuticle. I'm going to tuck that product in all the way up there and pull it down and the same on the other side And there we have the beautiful ombre. Stunning, stunning. Okay, so we're gonna move back to the quilted nail design. I have got the um, clear base applied and it's all set. I haven't filed it, we don't need to file it because we're going to come in with our quilted design and it's just going to look fabulous. I'm going to use the Goddess acrylic powder for that and then we're going to add some microbead crystal art. To do the, to do the quilted acrylic design I'm going to use some thread. So this is just a regular cotton thread. You can use kind of like um, what do you call it? A floss? <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. Um, you can use floss, thread, um, wire, whatever you've got to hand. You could even kind of like press in a tool, like an old tool, um, if you wanted to as well. So this is the thread that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use my scissors and chop a little bit off. Snippity snip. I'm going to dangle it over the side so I can easily, easily pick it up. <laughs> um, so we've got, like I say, we've got everything applied. I'm just going to come in with a quick, 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 quick little wash of... So now I'm going to come in and apply a complete layer of goddess over the entire nail. So whilst that's setting a little bit, we're going to take our thread and we're just going to go ahead and dip this into our clear acrylic. So we're just going to go ahead and take our thread and we're going to go and dip that into our clear acrylic. So you just want to kind of take it. I'm probably taking way too long to do this. You do need to be a little bit quicker. I don't even know. I'm going to do it on my own finger, but let's see if we can get it done, shall we? So I'm just going to come in. And I'm going to squash that in. Can you see how I've got an indentation? And I'm going to work my way up the nail I'm 
did it a bit wrong there. You can see I'm struggling guys doing it on my own hand but you kind of get the idea. So I'm gonna carry on. could say anything but it could mean everything because you said it to the right person and they needed the compliment but it's in a sickening you can say you're in love with them but it won't mean anything at all but that's not your fault life's funny like that you lose one thing get another one back you thought you knew but it wasn't a fact no i'm your whole okay so that is how it's looking i've kind of messed up the top bit just um here but i'll probably fix that with some flowers or something i don't know we'll do something um so this is how the design is looking at the minute i've got everything in place everything's looking cute and all we're going to do now is <clears throat> excuse me every time i keep getting a bit of a dry throat um, we're going to go ahead and encapsulate these nails. So I'll just go through encapsulating one of the nails um, as a step and then I'll zoom through off camera and finish them up and then I'll be back. Hey guys, I am back and I've gone ahead, I've filed and buffed my nails off camera and we are now ready to start with our nail art. I'm so excited, they are looking really, really cute and I'm excited to get these kind of finished up and top coated so I'm going to have a little play around. I did have like some ideas in mind but you know how it is when you start like going for it, things change so we're just going to go for it. I've got some colours on my palette, I'm just going to use Pretty Pink which is this gorgeous gel colour. The great thing about the nail mate polishes is that they are super super creamy and pigmented so you can use them as full cover um, colours or you can use them to paint detailed artworks like characters, lines, whatever you want to do. They're just really really amazing to work with and I absolutely love them. So I'm going to use the Baddest Liner brush in the size 1. 
comes in a packet of three super affordable great quality and gets the job done everybody absolutely freaking loves them so if you are on the hunt for a new brush for detail work you need to get this just text i know it's a toss oh, but i hate the fact that we lost such a so I'm going to come in and add a French design over our glitter nail. We're switching it up. That's going to be fabulous, at least I hope. I'm just going to kind of get a rough sketch and then we can fill it in. So I'm just going to quickly flash cure that in the light. So using the dotting tool on this middle nail, what we're going to do is do some hearts and we're going to use the three colours that we've got on the palette. So we've got pretty pink, sleepover and poppy. I think I might actually not do the pretty pink. I'm just going to do the sleepover. Am I going to do poppy? Mm, maybe not. So I'm just going to do two dots spread kind of next to each other just want to leave a little gap in between that way when we join them together we just get a really simple easy way of doing love hearts so now that we've got the two dots like that you're just gonna I like to get a little bit of products on the brush you don't really need loads just a teeny teeny bit and we're just gonna pull down from there, pull down from this dot. It's just a really simple and easy way of doing a love heart. Once you've pulled that down and got the point, you just join up these bits to how thick you kind of want your heart to be. And the shape that you want so easy to do and it just means that each time your hearts are like kind of uniformed Ooh, that is looking really really cute love 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 how they are looking Okay, so I'm going to quickly flash cure those and then I'm going to come in with the micro beads. So I'm going to use the gem gel, the micro beads, and also to pick up the micro beads, I'm going to use Let me get it, let me get it. I'm going to use the Glitter Planet Bling Stick, the Wax Bling Stick. So you've got like the moving tool at one side and then the wax pencil at the other side. And it's super handy, really, really easy just for kind of picking up crystals, nail art, anything fiddly. Anything fiddly, especially if you've got nails on. Because <laughs> we all know you're not picking it up with your nails or with your fingertips. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use small dotting tool the really small dotting tool just like that and what i want to do is on my quilted nail that we did 
In between each of the corners, I want to add kind of embellishments with the gold beads. I think that's going to look really cute. So we're just going to take a little bit of that gem gel on the dotting tool. And I'm just going to dab a blob in each of the corners or the cross sections. So next we're coming in with our gold micro beads and we're just going to place them in those sections where we've just added the gel. making sure to push them in a little bit and I'm gonna do one there as well because <laughs> that would annoy me that little bit where I've got one missing two actually I didn't quite manage to press the acrylic down but I'm still going to apply one because there should definitely be one there. And one here. So now that I've got the beads applied, I'm going to quickly cure those in the light to secure them in. And then, because you guys, obviously I didn't get round to doing the top bit of the nail in time and it didn't imprint with the quilted design, I'm going to come in with the flowers just because I need to hide that. <laughs> obviously, if you were working on some like your client or a practice hand or whatever or even if you used um you know the dental floss things that are on the handles that would be much easier i'm gonna hide it with these flowers these flowers are cute and they will look banging I'm just applying some gem gel. Then just picking up the flowers, I'm just gonna apply three of them to the nail. Oh. Wait on mana. Didn't put enough gem gel. Well I did, but I want a bit more. I want a bit more. Just gonna put a little bit more. I didn't realise how far I was gonna be putting it. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit in the middle as well because I'm gonna add a little gold bead. Yeah, they look cute. Cute.
Okay, so next I'm gonna come in with the foil gel. This is the Foil Mate Transfer Gel, and I'm just gonna pop a little bit onto my palette because I'm gonna be painting some love hearts with it. And we're gonna do some gold foiling. That's kind of like a delicious, delicious. So I'm gonna come in with the dotting tool again. And just wipe off that pink polish that I left on there from before. And I'm gonna be using one of my favorite foil sets. It's the Rose Gold Foil Set. It's absolutely stunning, like, you get all these gorgeous foils. And this is probably my most kind of used foil set. I'm just gonna take the stoic scissors and I'm just gonna trim off my foil now quickly before I get into the design. Just need a little bit. I'll sort that out when I'm on that. Pop that to the side. Okay, so we're gonna come in and do a gold heart. Using the dotting tool and the foil mate gel, we're gonna do the same process that we did with the pink polish. Only this time we are using foil gel. And you've kind of got to be a bit, <laughs> make sure you can see because obviously it's clear. So it's just catching the light. Just thought whilst that's curing, I'd quickly show you my other hand. I've just got a little short coffin design on. And they're cute, they're pretty. It didn't take me long at all. Um, yeah, I might change them, I might not. So I've got the foil gel there. You can see it glistening in the light and I'm just gonna take my foil. I'm gonna place the silver side down And then I'm gonna rub it up, dib. Just rub it into the design. I'm hoping that I cured it for long enough, actually. I wasn't really taking note. <laughs> Oops. Okay, yes, she cute. She is so cute. I just got a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing. A bit of a thing there, but I'm gonna see if I can get it off Not really, you can't really tell very much but I've got a little bit of I must have painted outside the lines obviously it's gonna take a bit of safe scrub and a little flat brush and see if I can get rid of it I'm not sure if I can might be able to scrape it off Oh yeah, yes, we did it, we did it. So this is how the design is looking at the minute. It looks really, really cute, fancy and pretty. I'm not sure I might add some more gold hearts onto the thumb, I might. So I decided to do the hearts on the thumb. If you didn't want to have them on, obviously you can leave them off, but more is more. <laughs> So I'm just gonna add my foil. I've already painted them and cured them and we're ready to apply. <clears throat> and then make sure we're rubbing in with a nice pressure. You don't wanna miss any areas because you wanna make sure that you are getting ev everything so that that foil can transfer. And then so cute.
Okay guys, so this is how the design is looking right now and we are ready to add our top coat and seal everything in. So I'm going to be adding the super gloss no wipe top coat. This is a no tacky layer finish. So once you've cured it in the light, that is it. It's also HEMA free. So if you're looking for a HEMA free top coat that is absolutely bomb, this is the one. This is definitely the one. So let's come in and top coat everything. Oh, that looks so good. Everybody knows this is my favorite part and I know a lot of you guys, you enjoy this part the most. I mean, who wouldn't? It's like the best bit. Getting to see everything pop and kind of come together. So we're not going to top coat the ring finger, we're going to leave that as it is. If you wanted, you could definitely go ahead and seal around your little micro beads just to give them that extra security and make sure that they last the whole entire time because they are kind of sticking up from the nail. Another way is obviously to make your indents a little bit more wider so they slot in and then they've got that protection from the sides. So we're going to head straight to the pinky give her some super gloss Okay guys, so I cured everything. I have added my cuticle oil. I've gone for a cherry this time. I mean, I've been using cherry a lot. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys loved watching. I think they turned out really, really cute and adorable. They just look so cute. Perfect for Valentine's, perfect for any time of the year, whether you want it Valentine's or not. And you could definitely recreate this in any colour that you wanted. Just switch up the pink for your favourite colour and it would look bomb. So yeah, I'm going to get some final shots, some final pictures and footage and share some close-ups with you guys. Look how pretty they are. Also Goddess, our new cover powder, the gold shimmery one that I've used in this set is available now. So I'm going to link it down below. If you want to get it, get it now. It's bomb. Oof, it's fancy. I mean, you saw how pretty she was. She just looks absolutely gorgeous. I think it's going to be a new fave for a lot, a lot of people. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just happy. I love this set and I'm glad you guys could join me and watch this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you haven't already subscribed, please click the button, ring the bell. I know a lot of you guys are saying that you're not getting notified when I'm uploading, which is a little bit rubbish. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm uploading weekly now. So if you check back every week, then hopefully you'll see a new video from me. Everything that I've used in this video is available in the description box. I'll link and list everything. They're from my website, which is Glitter Planet. We have worldwide shipping. And yeah, I just hope you guys love and enjoy using our products because we put everything into it. Like it is life forever. Glitter Tribe, babe, forever. So yeah, 
let's take a look at some final shots. Don't forget to check out my other playlists. I have a beginner's playlist, which is perfect if you are kind of getting into the nail game, into the nail world and want to learn more and just have more knowledge. You know, you can never have too much. So definitely check out my other playlists. Subscribe if you didn't already and ring that bell. And as always, guys, please remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anybody tone different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye!